Real fast before the video starts and we get into the account progress, going to quickly select a random name to win last week's t-shirt giveaway. There are just over 20 entries, so that gives you around a little less than a 5% chance of winning. So good luck to all who entered. Just going to go straight in, not waste anybody's time. Let's just pick a comment, see who's going to win. Google 100. Congratulations, man. I'll definitely get into contact with you and try to send this shirt over to you as soon as I can. But aside from that, let's get into the progress. Hey, what's going on guys, and welcome back to episode 44 of the Hardcore Iron Man Progress Series. Gonna kick things off by charging up the Ring of Suffering. Just put in about 14,000 recoil charges into this thing. That might be a little overkill, don't really know if I'll ever need those, but I'm definitely set for Zora. Overall though, the plan for this episode is probably just going to be grinding out crafting passively so that I can get level 90 and make my tormented bracelet and on top of that I'd also like to reserve some time this week to work on my diaries that's definitely been something I've neglected I know I've said that in the past that I've neglected things but this really takes the cake I mean just look at this right here I've only completed three hard diaries there's even a couple that I haven't even done the easies for like the Kandarin and desert so I'm gonna reserve a lot of this episode into completing these trying to knock out as many as I can and uh, reaping the rewards that they give because there's really a lot of good stuff that you can get like just off the top of my head like if you do like the Kandarin diaries you get like a 5% herb yield and there's all sorts of other stuff so I really need to take advantage of this just so that the account is like more efficient and I can honestly utilize all of the benefits from the diaries so definitely gonna knock those out but yeah anyways that's basically the game plan uh, might do some other stuff on the side you never really know I mean usually I do a pretty good job following my goals but I also kind of get distracted and focus on some other stuff but those are gonna be the core two things that I'll focus on this episode and anything else will sort of be unplanned but yeah hopefully you enjoy the progress this week it also just occurred to me that I am only 147k off 91 Slayer so I might actually also work a little bit on that this episode only probably a couple days off from that if I grinded it pretty well and then I'll have Serp unlocked. Can't really promise that I'll do Serp this episode but maybe if I feel like it and I get a task I might just may as well try out a few kills and see if I get lucky. Definitely going to be doing it next episode. And there is yet... Oh, are you kidding me? I was literally about to say and there's another task without a dragon plate skirt or plate leg drop. The last kill! Why did it have to be a skirt? <laughs> Man, I can't believe I got it on the last kill. I was literally, I had the words ready, and I was about to say it. I was about to say it just like I always do. Like, yep, oh, there's another task without dragon plate legs or dragon plate skirt, but yep. <laughs> last kill of the trip, are you kidding me? Well, let's go attach the uh, ornament kit. Oh, I hope that you can actually take the ornament kit off. You can, right? Like, can I put the ornament kit on this and then take it off later and then put it on the dragon plate legs when I eventually get those? I hope so. Ah, oh, sweet, nice, you can. But yeah, there is the Dragon Plate Skirt G. That looks kind of cool. I mean, never had any uh, Dragon Ornament kits before, so here's my first. Hopefully I get the Dragon Plate Legs next, which will be actually pretty good fashion scape. So earlier in the episode, I mentioned that I was going to reserve a big portion of this week into knocking out diaries, and I think the first one I'm going to attempt is the Lumbridge and Drainer Hard Diary, and the only thing I really had to do before completing that would be to obtain some Belladonna Seeds. I've gotten these during Slayer Tasks, but I've always dropped them, so I just had to spend like freaking 45 minutes at the Master Farmer reobtaining them, but finally got it. Also got some nice uh, barley seeds and just hop seeds in general for birdhouse runs, but yeah, finally got the Belladonna Seeds. Let's go knock out this diary. Had this elite clue sitting in the bank for a while, about a week, and finally decided to get around completing it. And we do have the casket, so let's see what we get. Oh wow, yeah, that's pretty awful. Teak planks and death runes. All right, my friends, and there we have the medium Karemaja diaries completed. Decided to knock these out before I complete the Grimtails quest and knock out the final step for the Fally Hards. Just trying to get all the diaries I can out of the way. Didn't feel like doing a quest now, so I did this instead. I think I actually have all the requirements to do the hard diaries on Karemaja as well, so I might as well head on and uh, do that as well. Uh, apparently, I get unlimited teleports to the gem mine when I do this one, which will be really nice for getting Slayer tasks from Duradil. I won't have to use the darn old arty cloak, teleport to the monastery, then run over, charge our ship, then use the cart to get to Shadley Village, that kind of thing. So it will actually save a lot of time, so may as well knock that one out as well. Cool. Yes. And the moment of truth. Aw, uh, yeah. Hard diaries complete. Fuck! Hate it when I do that. Uh, 
the Falador Shield 3 has been acquired. Let's see what this actually does. You can now access a bank deposit box at the Crafting Guild. Shortcut to the Heroes Guild. The Giant Mole should now be easier to locate. Oh yeah, that's right, I have the locator. Yeah, lots of good stuff with this one. Very happy about that. So while I continue to wait for my Belladonna plant to grow so I can finish the Lumber Chard Diary, I may as well take advantage of this time to get to alking some more Battle Staves. I currently need 420k per day to buy the Battle Staves from Zaf, and currently I do not have enough to continue doing that. So I'm gonna get to alking. I currently have, actually I don't know how many I have, hopefully a lot, yeah, 1700 Battle Staves in the bank, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach those to the fire orbs and then I'll go hit up the rooftop agility and start alking. Here we are a little while later and at long last the Belladonna plant has grown so let's just harvest this real fast and the diary shall be completed. 512 farming XP as well. Hell yeah. And the Explorer's Ring 3 has been achieved. Very very nice. So what this thing does is it gives me unlimited teleports to the Cabbage Patch versus only being limited to three with the previous ring. So that's a pretty big difference. Three versus infinite, which is gonna be really nice for farm runs and stuff like that. Uh, I didn't really read the other benefits of the diary, I skipped over it, but I'm sure it has some other nice stuff as well, as well as this antique lamp, which will go straight into herb lore. All right, so I just looked it up and the rewards here are actually pretty darn nice. I get 10% increased experience at Tears of Gothics, which is the big one. And I also get a couple other things, including a nice little handy shortcut south of Lumbridge Swamp that connects to the desert and just a couple things like that. So yeah, some nice rewards from this diary. I'm definitely glad I got it out of the way. Should have done it earlier, but better late than never. And there we are, all of the battle staffs have been assigned Symbol, that puts me at a grand total of 2,638. Gonna be quite a lot of money here. 23.9 mil. Man, I can't wait to out this. Coming in with another agility level, just hit level 77. So three more levels to go before I can boost for the Elite Western Province Diary for that Zora revive. I'm not looking forward to it, but it's gotta be done. I really hate agility, but at least there's one level down. Currently made about 10 mil cash from Alkin the Battle Staves, but still got a lot left to go, so that's kind of nice. But I'm going to quickly head over and uh, complete some more diaries. I think I'm going to work on the Karimja Hards next, so just going to see how many steps I can knock out. As long as I've had this account, I've actually never crafted a single nature rune. Isn't that just baffling? Like, I've never done it before. When I realized I hadn't done this step, I was so confused. I guess I just bought them all from shops. And if we cook this wrapped umli on the range, that should be the task complete. As soon as I eat it. Yes, there it is. Nice. And for the rewards, I have unlimited teleports to the Shiloh Village gem mine underground. So basically, I can teleport there and it'll be a more convenient way of me getting Slayer assignments from Duradil. So basically, I won't have to use the Arty Cloak and then charter the ship and then take the cart ride down the Shiloh Village, which will be kind of nice. And then in addition to that, I get discounts from merchants whoever they are, and then I get the slam. So yeah, pretty nice. I think the next one I work on will probably be the Fremnik one. Yeah, so these things teleport me right here actually, which is really convenient. I also like the animation, you just do like this little clap and then it teleports you right next to the ladder, and then I just go up and then I just walk uh, east over to the Slayer Master, which will be a lot easier than what I've been doing before with the Arty Cloak Teleport, so that's kind of nice. And this should be the Hard Diary done right here. I actually haven't done the Medium. I did the Hard one first because I was closer to completing it, so I guess I'll go ahead and knock out the Medium one. I actually have to do Olaf's quest, so I don't even have all the requirements. That's one of those quests that really doesn't have any point in the game other than the Diary, so guess I'll knock that out real quick. Yeah, that was actually a pretty easy quest. There we go. Olaf's quest complete. We can now finish up the Fremenic Medium Diaries. 12k defense XP, 20k cash. Wow, that's actually a lot of cash. And four rubies. Hell yeah. That's a four dig site pendants right there for birdhouse runs. And there we have it, guys. There is the Kandran Easy and Medium Diaries complete. I can't quite do the hard diaries yet because you actually need 75 smithing in order to make like an admit spear or something. So that's a pretty hard requirement. I mean, I guess it is a hard diary, but compared to the other requirements, it's pretty up there. So I'm going to have to grind some smithing before I can attempt that, but it'll be done. I guess that's one of the next things I'll work on. I don't know if I'll do that yet. I'll probably move on to the desert diary first, but in the future, in the near future that is, I'm gonna have to grind out some smithing. Luckily I just alked a bunch of battle staffs so I have tons of cash to buy out gold ore. But yeah, in the meantime, let's go hit up these desert diaries real quick. I was just doing a diary requirement that required me to enter the pyramid and there is a thieving level. I figured I may as well just finish the room 
and I happen to be like 5k off a level, so yeah, there we go. Quick little update on how the diaries have been going. I have completed the easy and medium diaries for the desert, and I'm now working on the hard. The only difficult step really that I can see is defeating the cow fight queen, which is what I'm going to attempt right here. I don't really know how this is going to go, so I'm aware that the cow fight queen really isn't that dangerous. She just hits really consistently. However, the amount of damage that she does deal isn't like an insane amount. So as long as I just keep eating and I don't lag, I should be completely fine. I'm just worried that I'm not going to have enough food, but we'll find out. Oh god. Why is it already damaged? <sighs> this is not going well. Leave me alone, dude. What the? <gasps> oh my god. I just got ring of life. What the hell was that? The hit stack? I'm not poisoned at my freaking eat just in case. I thought I was fine. This hit. Why did I just take like two like massive hits at the end? I'm gonna have to watch that back. That's the first ring of life on the account. I really have nothing else to say. I'm just gonna need to watch the clip back because I'm so confused. It looked like I took two hits that stacked after I climbed up the rope or something. Well, I have since calmed down and analyzed the clip, and I still am utterly baffled at what just happened. I had no clue that the hits would stack after leaving the tunnel. That's insane. Like, nine times out of ten, maybe even more than that, usually in that kind of situation, the damage would be negated or nullified upon leaving an area like that. But in that case, apparently that's not the case. I just took a 22, a 28, and a 26. All back to back, and I have no idea where that came from. I guess it's just some special ability from the Cal Fight Queen, and those are like pretty close to her max hits. She hits like a, a 30 about as a max. I think it's like a 31 or something. So yeah, I took some heavy damage there despite having the imbued suffering ring and the Vurex helm and all this tank gear and 99 defense. I still got just completely smacked down. That's insane, dude. I don't even want to go back there. I guess, I mean, the reason I got hit so hard is I thought I was standing in a safe spot. I didn't know Cal Fight Queen was going to walk all the way over to me where I was standing at the rope. So I thought I was fine to turn my prayer off, but evidently I am not very knowledgeable on this game. So you live and you learn. I dodged a bullet there. That's like the first time I've really come extremely close to dying. I'd say that and almost seeing it, gorillas are the only two times I've really been legitimately close to dying. But that was pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. I can't believe that. I'm gonna have to watch out for that. Next time I attempt Calphite Queen, I'm probably just going to pray the entire time just never take it off that seems like the safest bet probably should have done that the first time in addition to that i've also been trying to hoard all of my lamps so i can use them all at once i'll probably just use them up i'll just like hoard all the lamps i can except for the desert hard diary and then just get rid of these because i'm going to need all the food i can get for this but i'll go back eventually i'm going to go ahead and claim all the rewards for the other diaries first but yeah, if you guys learn anything from watching these videos, just make sure you take away from this experience to always, and I mean always, do thorough research before attempting something new, especially like KQ or a new boss like that, because I definitely almost paid the price. That was just really arrogant on my part. I figured I'd be fine. I knew the Cal Fight Queen could hit pretty accurately, but I just thought I'd be able to tank it pretty easily, like it would only hit small increments of damage. But yeah, if you take anything away from this experience, Learn from my mistake. I almost paid the price very dearly, so make sure you do better research. I'm feeling really stupid right now. I'm kind of hitting myself in the head for having almost died in that way. That would have been pretty embarrassing. Actually, it was embarrassing, even though I didn't die. But yeah, almost dying on the hardcore side. Let's just claim these rewards. We've got ourselves 10 beautiful experience lamps that will all go into herb lore. Also, a few nice pieces of handy gear. Uh, the Kandarn headgear, I don't actually know what that does. I know that the hard diary allows you to teleport straight to the bank instead of the castle, so it's really good for doing laps of agility on the rooftops. Uh, as for the Fremnic Sea Boots, I can teleport. I can also use the shortcut for the Trollheim farm patch, and then with the amulet, I can teleport straight to Darna, as well as a couple other things I can't remember off the top of my head. But overall, some really nice rewards, so let's just go ahead and use all these in Herblor. Let's see how much experience per hour I get. Uh, I'll look at what Runelight tells me. And there we go. There is all of the lamps used on Herblor. 
putting us at 5.2 mil XP per hour on Rune Light. I know you guys can't see it, but just take my word for it. <laughs> 5.2 mil per hour. If only I had more lamps, I could just use them all on Herbalor and just get 99 in like half an hour. <laughs> Actually, you could probably do that in RuneScape 3 with all those weird experience lamps that you can win from the... I don't even know what they call it these days. The thing that used to be the Squill of Fortune. Also, just check this out for a second. Here are all of our diary pieces assembled and it looks pretty cool wow that's actually kind of neat they all kind of match too because most of the diaries i've completed are the mediums or the hards so the color scheme is all pretty even i know for the elite it's like purple but i have this kind of like whitish theme going on and there we have it guys all of the battle staves have been out putting us at 23 mil cash also an additional 51 marks of grace which will be nice for making more staminas and I guess it's back to the battle staff grind. Luckily, I still do have quite a few power to fire orbs, so if I just continue to buy the battle staffs daily, I should be able to stock up on some more. And then we'll do another session of agility alking probably next week. Also, doing pretty well on the 80 agility grind, we are currently 62k off of level 78. And then from there, it'll just be two more levels. Unfortunately, they'll be quite long levels, but just two more. In the meantime, though, I've got some stuff. I gotta do so I might just go do an AFK activity I might try some mining or maybe I'll work on my wyvern task not really sure oh yeah and if you are wondering on what I plan to do for finishing the calphite queen kill I'm still gonna do that pretty soon but in the meantime I'm going to get a bond on my other account and practice it a little bit I think my best bet is probably just to learn how to flinch it also want to look into how I got stacked out so hard because to me, it, I'm not sure if it's actually a mechanic or not, if that was a bug. I'm not really not sure. So I'm going to go experiment a little bit and learn the mechanics a little bit better. And then I'll attempt it on the hardcore later. And we are back, ready to take on the Cal Fight Queen for the second time. I did do some testing on my main account. I went over there like once just to try it out. And it was pretty easy to get into a flinching spot. So I'll definitely be doing that for the first phase. And then in addition to that, I also determined that I was not a victim to some weird glitch or anything. That actually is something that happens when you fight KQ. If you leave the, the little boss room, the damage will still count. So I just kind of got unlucky with the hits. Usually it doesn't hit you that high. Even on my Zerker, that only has 45 defense, I took about half the damage I did on this account. So I just got unlucky. This time I'll be ready and hopefully nothing bad will happen. I think I just got it. I just lured it to the wall. So now I should be able to flinch it. So now if I do this, nope, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to actually attack it. And there's the first phase down. Now time for the range phase, which I don't think I can flinch because I'm pretty sure you can't flinch with range or magic, only melee, but we'll just try to kill it as fast as we can without dying, hopefully. I guess I could run underneath it if I ever need to take a, a break. Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. I'll do a hit and then I'll run underneath. Nice, another zero. Every zero is so nice. I don't have it flinched anymore. Maybe I should just take it like a man, just fight it. Please, bro, I only have one food left. Yes, a hit. Recoil. Do your thing. Oh, I did it. Thank God. Oh, that's over. Now give me a drop. Oh, well, that's great. Apparently it was damaged and I don't even get the kill. Now I have to do it all over again. Are you serious? I guess it's time for attempt number two or three i guess you gotta count that first one so yeah attempt number three that last kill was pretty easy so as long as things go just like they did before i should be fine i just gotta pay attention to what health it's at i watched the clip back and apparently someone damaged it like i don't know they hit like a 10 on it or something it was like like 240 out of 250 health so that's quite unfortunate but oh well you live and you learn gotta pay more attention to that kind of stuff don't hit me don't hit me don't hit me nice Dude, a one. <laughs> I need hits that are more than one damage. Like, no. Oh, come on, I just said <laughs> I don't need ones. Ask and you shall not receive on this game. Oh, well, I guess that would explain it. Having it on slash instead of crush probably doesn't help things. Like, watch, I'll probably hit now. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Man, I'm just so bad at this boss. There we go. Oh, thank God. Please say it counts this time. There we are. Wasn't as lucky as Caveman only. Couldn't pull the one kill count D chain, but there is the diary complete. Actually, it's not complete. I still have to do one more requirement. I had to get like a plus two smithing boost to make some sort of admin armor piece in Narda. But yeah, that's the uh, hard step down. Now let's just get a plus two boost and we will have the 
desert hard diaries done. Just got the smithing boost, hopefully it lasts long enough. Where is the plate body? There it is, click it fast. And there it is, the desert hard diary has been completed. Very nice, didn't take too long. I had to get myself a couple more orange spice, but there it is. We have completed the next diary. That's actually the last diary that I think I'll be doing for a long time because we only have the wilderness, which I don't need to touch being as I'm a hardcore. And then we have the Candron, which requires me to train more smithing. And then finally there's the Ardun diary, which requires the smithing of a dragon square shield. And I am 90, almost 91 Slayer, and I still haven't gotten the shield left half drop. So that's kind of unfortunate. I guess I'll have to slap on the Ring of Wealth at some point to try to get that. 15k Erblor XP. Thank you very much. We have just achieved level 71 mining. Just casually doing some AFKing right now. The nice thing about starting up school again is that I have a lot more of an excuse to get some of these grindy goals out of the way. Just this AFK stuff. Because over the summer I've been doing a lot of raids and pvm slayer that kind of thing and my skills have really been slacking and falling behind so now this gives me an excuse to do so so i guess you'll probably see a lot of mining levels and stuff like that over the next few weeks which will probably be pretty beneficial to the account overall here's the smithing level after fixing the water wheels they actually give pretty good xp it's uh, like 100 xp Per one that you fix so it adds up and here is yet another mining level that's level 72 which is actually a pretty important one as it unlocks the second level of the mother load mine so far less crowded and overall just so much better i really can't wait till i can finally officially unlock that i think i'm only like 15 gold nuggets off and then i can purchase this upstairs area which is going to make things so much better 420 tasks have been completed also got another 75 points we are now less than 100,000 slayer experience off of 91 so cerberus is right around the corner man i am both excited and terrified at the same time not gonna lie oh man i'm kind of disappointed in myself i just missed a farming level i was approaching that level for a while and i was ready to actually get it on recording but I clicked the U tree too fast and interrupted the message but the nice thing about this level is that it unlocks the spirit tree. I can plant my very first one and I think I'm going to go and plant it on miscellanea right next to the bush patch. That way I can use it to harvest bush runs more efficiently and also keep up my kingdom. So that's probably where I'll plant my first one but yeah it's pretty cool. Uh, first time I'll ever be planting one on this game. I think it's at this point where I finally am going to have to temporarily retire the berserker ring because here I am sitting at nearly 91 Slayer and I still don't have the shield left half and I would eventually like to do the Ardune Hard Diary to upgrade my Arty Cloak so I think I'm going to slap on the Ring of Wealth and hopefully that will increase my odds of getting the Dragon Square Shield. I mean obviously it will but hopefully the luck will fall through and I'll actually get it. Demon interrupted the message but there is level 91 attack. Does that put me in another combat? Ooh, very close. Almost 119. Man, what is with me and getting elites from these things? That is the third one. Where's my whip? This is one out of 1200. A whip is only one out of 512. I still don't have a third whip. I'm gonna be so mad if I don't get one this task. I only have 46 more tries. Where is my whip? I still don't have a third whip. This is insane, dude. Like, look at this. I don't even wanna know. Almost 3400. My last whip is at 1200. That's insane. Oh, hey, we were actually able to complete the clue. Let's see what we get. Uh, some summer pies. I don't remember what those do. What does that boost? Oh, wow. Actually, these things really are quite good. They give a plus five boost to agility. That's going to be really nice. I could actually uh, use that for Cerberus if I don't have 80 by the time I'm doing that. Come on, that's a good hit. Come on, come on. Come on, hit something. I got a small hit. Oh, I survived. Oh my god. No items. <laughs> Alright, good luck, guys. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Dragon Hunter Crossbow. Congrats. Man. Congratulations. That's the third item I've seen. Ooh, a purple orb to finish things off. Thank you, Mr. Alm. Now give me an item. No! Oh, oh my no. god. Oh man. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first dex I've seen. Oh, that got my heart racing. Congrats, dude. <laughs> you got the good one. 
At least it's worth something. Well, that's pretty interesting. There is the first rare drop table drop since bringing the Ring of Wealth onto my Slayer tasks. Rune Spear this time. Not useful at all, but hopefully the Shield Left Half will be next. And any second now, there it is. Level 98 hit points has been achieved on the account. So close to trimming the defense cape. Second 99, well on the way. This is exciting, man. I can't wait to get this cape. This is one of my favorites in the game. Just one more level. 1.2 mil XP. Ah, it's going to be a while. Also, 119 combat. Feels good. Bush patch has just received a buff. Today is a good day, my friends. Let's see how many we get this time. For real, dude? Wait. Alright, I feel like this is broken. This does not seem right. I, I was expecting to get, like, maybe double, like, eight. <laughs> oh my god, dude, I got 27. Basically a full inventory of white fairies from one bush. I feel like that's gonna be hot fixed. There's no way that that's supposed to be like that. 27 from one bush, are you serious? Big moment coming up right here. About to unlock the upper level of the Motherlode Mine. It's gonna make this so much easier. I don't actually know how to do it. I guess you click the ladder, maybe I'll talk to you. Oh yeah, hell yeah, man. I'll definitely give you these 100 nuggets. Oh man, kind of sad to see him go away, but definitely worth it. Now I have access to the upper level. It's going to be so much nicer. Like this place, it's probably like five times better, not even going to lie. So mining will be a lot easier from now on and a lot more AFK. Got ourselves not one, but two clue scrolls. We got a medium and a hard. Let's open them up. Please. Yes! No! Oh <laughs> my god. I saw the two. I thought it was Armadale. I always confuse the Ceridoman and Armadale pages. Oh man, I right clicked it, I saw the two, I got super excited, then I saw the Ceridoman. Oh man, that's actually kind of hilarious and sad. Uh, ancient page four, don't remember what of the ancient pages I needed, that could possibly it, be it, a one out of four chance, let's see what's in the hard. Ooh, a master clue, very nice, let's go check to see if this is unique though. Come on man, I'm just begging you at this point, just give me a unique page. We have the Ceridoman page two, this one's the four, the three, oh my god, we actually have a unique page. So. That puts us one away from the Ceridoman book, not that that matters too much. And then here we have the Ancient, which we already have. <sighs> Just, is it even possible? No, yeah, whatever. I'm sure there are people unluckier than me regarding pages. And we cannot do the Master. And here is another mining level, level 73 coming in. This has really been my go-to AFK spot for the last few days. I've actually been kind of enjoying it. The top level is so much nicer. Another agility level coming in. There is level 78, just two more long levels. Oh my god, that's a lot of XP. First time ever harvesting a spirit tree. Almost 20k experience. Man, those are going to be really nice for XP. I could actually continuously farm these because I have like 20 more seeds in the bank so it would actually be pretty good for just overall XP but on top of that it also has some very nice functionality I can now teleport straight here all I have to do is use my handy dandy slayer ring to teleport to the gnome stronghold and then run up to the main spirit tree and then I can get right next to this bush patch and while I'm at it I can also recharge my kingdom favor so yeah this will be a really really nice convenience for the future. And here it is the next agility level 79 just one more to go I don't even want to look I really don't some shortcut that I'll probably never use or actually I might use that that might make it a little quicker to get into the jungle that might be useful who knows. But here's the reveal, 186k. Uh, it's gonna take me a long time. Just one more level though. And here we go guys. One of the biggest levels on the account is about to be achieved, level 91 Slayer. I hate how it interrupts the message. I kinda wanted to see that and look at it a little bit longer, but there it is. 91 Slayer has been achieved. We now have unlocked Cerberus, and I think we've officially entered the end game content on the Iron Man. Who knows, this could be this could be the end for me. Uh, this is probably one of the biggest opportunities for me to die, is against this boss. I think it has the biggest KO potential over basically anything else in the game. Nothing really matches it, so this could be the end, but I'm excited. I think I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try to get those Prims, those Jordans, as some people call it. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave you on a little cliffhanger and do that next week because this episode's getting a little bit lengthy and I think that's a good place to end. I also need to do a little bit of agility grinding before I embark on the Cerberus grind because I'm still not quite level 80 and I just want to be efficient. I don't want to have to use like summer pies and agility potions to use that shortcut. So I'm going to get the last 158k experience and just knock out 80 and then I'll proceed to do Cerberus. Hopefully I can get a task. I haven't gotten Hellhounds in a long time so hopefully that's not too difficult. 
But anyways, other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Feel free to follow all the socials down below, and I'll see you hopefully pretty soon with some Monka S Cerberus content. So take care, guys.